All right, so we've finished all eight scallops on both sides and we've done our, our extra little slip stitch in there. We are now going to work on the center faux tie, F-A-U-X. I think that's such a fun word, faux tie. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn and we're gonna work a half double crochet in those two slip stitches that we have there. The one slip stitching the scallop in and the one that we did right after that. That's our first little row. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn again. And do two more half double crochets across that row. We're basically just going to do a few of these rows, two half double crochets in each row. We're going to do this until there are seven rows of these half double crochets. All right, seven rows of half double crochets. And now we are going to get our hair attachment piece either a nylon headband or a metal hair clip. Um, if you're doing a metal hair clip, you can do this at the end. Um, if you're doing a headband, you're going to want to hang on to this um, while we do this next section. So this is the back of the bow. Um, and the way that we're going to put it together, we're going to look at the front of the bow. We're going to kind of make an indent right in the middle and kind of fold things up like that. Let's do it again. Push it in the middle kind of fold things together so that you shape it like a bow would be shaped. Now we're going to wrap this around the front and here on the back. If you have your headband, you're going to want to stick that there before you like back along the back, you're going to stick the headband. You're going to pull, continue pulling this tight, nice and around until it's like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch it together. So back here at the beginning of this, of this row here, the, the seven rows of half double crochets, we're going to find the, the first side, the, the first stitch we did, and we're going to slip stitch in. We're going to catch that yarn and pull it through, and we're going to pull it as tight as we can. Now we're going to look down here. This is on the, on the last row of half double crochets. This stitch right here, we're going to skip that because that kind of was acting like that. And we're going to go over and we're going to catch this other stitch here. It's kind of kind of tricky to grab. You, you'll need to grab the first loop and the second loop. This one's being a little bit stubborn. We're going to get it though. First loop and second loop. There we go. And you're going to pull that over and you're going to catch up here. You're going to catch it through the other side. Pull it through and slip stitch. Pull that thread through all the loops on your hook. Okay, now we're going to cut it and tie it off. Pull that through. Now the nice thing about these um, bows is that the beginning chain is right by the end chain. So right here we can make sure this is extra secure by tying these together, tying a little knot there. This bow does not come undone. <laughs> it just doesn't. Okay. And so we can, before we cut those threads off, we're going to pull this over and make sure it's right there in the center. Um, and we're going to just shape our bow, make it look like how we want it to look. So cute. Um, if this nylon headband was not here at this point, you could grab your metal hair clip, open it up, and just slide it right in. A lot easier with that nylon there. But that's where that's where that would that's where that would go. Okay. Now we're going to go in here, pull these threads through. Grab the other one. And then we're going to clip those 
and just kind of tuck them in and there you have it. There is your Cindy bow. Learning to crochet? Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a tip.